All right, so in this next video, we're going to be looking at simplifying exponential expressions. All right, now this simplifying in today's situation is going to include factorization. Okay, so both of those are going to be involved here in some way, shape, or form. So let's start with this top one. Okay, I have 6 to the n plus 12 to the n over 1 plus 2 to the n. Now, at first glance, there's not much we can do, but if you look at this 12n, and we did this before in class, we were able to change the 12n such that there was a common factor. You probably recognize that 6 goes into 12, which is a good start. So let's rewrite this. You may remember that back in Algebra 1, you learned that 6 times 2 to the n could be written as 6 to the n times 2 to the n. Right now, remember, this is not the distributive property, but we are, in a way, distributing the n to both of those things that are being multiplied. You probably saw it more like this, but it's no different if you have numbers. So that's exact, exactly what we're going to do. We're going to rewrite it as 6 to the n times 2 to the n all over 1 plus 2 to the n. Now, at this point, you're able to factor the 6 to the n. Now, if I factor the 6 to the n, if I take 6 to the n out of this, now remember when you factor, you're dividing. So 6 to the n minus, divided by 6 to the n is 1. And then plus, if I cancel out the 6 to the n, that's left with 2 to the n. Now, if I distributed this, I should end up with what's on, what's on top there, over 1 plus 2 to the n. And at this point, you'll notice that I've got a 1 plus 2 to the n on the bottom and a 1 plus 2 to the n on the top, which leaves me with 6 to the n. Man, that was an easy one. Let's do another one. I like that one. All right, here we go. We'll do it again. Now, this time, it's a little bit different. It's a different type of problem. But still, we're factorizing. This does not look like a quadratic. Could it be the difference of squares? Well, maybe, but I don't really see any squares, anything that's a square here. So the probability is that we're probably going to be looking for um, something here that can be a common factor. And you can see the 3n show up twice. So let's factor out the 3 to the n. Now, if I take 3 to the n out of this one, I'll be left with n minus 1 over 6 minus. And if I take 3 to the n out of this one, I would have n plus 1 over 6. Again, note that if I decide to redistribute the 3 to the n, it should take me back to where I started. Now, at this point, I can actually simplify because the stuff inside I can now put together. So the 3 to the n on the outside is going to stay just the way it is. I'm going to have n minus 1 minus n plus 1 because this is all in the second fraction, so I have to make sure to subtract all of that. Common denominator, so that was easy. They were actually really nice to give us a common denominator there, so we don't really have to even worry about it. So then we've got 3 to the n times n minus 1. We're going to distribute the minus, so minus n minus 1 over 6. And so at this point, we'll have 3 to the n times the n and the minus n cancel out. And then we've got negative 2 over 6. And so therefore, we can reduce that. And so we end up with negative 1 third 3 to the n. Now, I'm OK with that. If you wanted, you could probably actually reduce that a little bit further. But this is OK. I just want to show you, if they asked us to put it as a single power, Recognize that this is a 3 as well. So I could rewrite this as negative 3 to the negative 1 times 3 to the n. And then, of course, since I'm multiplying, I can add the exponents, which means this is also equal to negative 3 to the n minus 1. And so that would also be correct. And if they, I could see an IB question asking you to simplify this to a single, uh, single exponential power. So there you go. There's the two problems. I hope these are helpful. And uh, I know the second one is not the one that's on your homework, but it's a lot like the one that is on your homework. So good luck. Ciao.